Prime time. Prime time. Hello, punching people. It's your boy Dre, and I'm here with Steve. Hey. That's all you got to say to the people? Come on. <laughs> I think you're doing fi- I think you're doing a Fatal Fury uh, once. This is Art of Fighting, remember. Uh, oops. <laughs> well, to carry you through this holiday season, ho, 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 and all that shit, we're going to talk about fighting game OVAs all month. Yes, I'm going to try my best to say OVA instead of OAV. I'm going to try my best. Fucking old man weeb over here. <laughs> hey, look at you. Okay, go look in the mirror and then tell me that. How dare you? I also force you to watch these with me. <laughs> um, so I guess all this month, we're just going to take a spin through the more mediocre, if you will, fighting game OVAs that there is. I mean, yeah, there's good ones out there, like Street Fighter and stuff. We don't want to watch that. We like to dig in the muckety muck around here, Steve. I don't know. Street Fighter 2V was like 14 episodes of something very special, but it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a few episodes of that. My friend was pretty into it, but I mean, the movie was good, but man, uh, Street Fighter V, that's an undertaking for another time. Yeah, we're just going to, I don't know, how many Thursdays are there in December? Four? We're going to keep we're gonna keep you locked here while we're on, quote unquote, vacation from recording with these months ago pre-recorded episodes on these OVAs. So we're just pretending it's December right now. We're, 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 it's, we're in the Christmas spirit. I'll smoke the chestnuts. <laughs> Hey, honey, can you hand me the nutcracker? Sweet. Black Ops 2. Oh, wait, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> that's for that's for Black Friday. That's already passed. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to kick off this mini series, if you will, with Art of Fighting, as the name of this episode implies. But uh, what the hell is Art of Fighting? Just in case anyone doesn't know, Steve, how about 30 seconds on Art of Fighting? Andre, Art of Fighting is Neo, one of Neo Geo's specialties, a fighting game, an early one. It's not a launch game, obviously. It, 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 did, it even released a year after Fatal Fury. Both of them were trying to out Street Fighter the first game, which is some would call a stupid thing to do when Street Fighter 2 is out. But oh, well, but I'd say they Art of Fighting in particular was stylish and better sequels were made. <laughs> it does have that. It does have style and enough style where it was popular enough in arcades. No, thanks to my 10 year old ass pumping quarters into that thing. God, I like Art of Fighting a lot. I don't know why it wasn't really that good, but we'll touch on that in a second. So in all of these, I want to touch on from game release to anime, like how long it took. Right. So Art of Fighting came out September 24th. 92. These are Japanese dates, by the way. September 24th, 1992. The anime came out December 23rd, 1993. Oh, shit. Does that mean we're covering this like 30 years later? Wow. Merry fucking Christmas here. Sorry to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting alone in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> wow watch, watch art of fighting on tv or whatever yeah in 1993 man look i would have been the right age for that shit if that aired on tv for christmas i would have been like oh my fucking god um better than seeing what's the movie where the kid's tongue gets stuck to a pole better than seeing that for the millionth time a christmas story and rude <laughs> what that's i like that movie i'm not Fuck saying you. i don't like it I, whoa Whoa! First of all, I never said I didn't like it. I just said I'm sick of seeing it. Secondly, fuck you too. Okay? So what? Uh, a 15-month lag time between game release and anime release? That's not too bad. It was produced for TV, for Tokyo TV, rather, the station, by NAS and Comet Studio. We're going to be hearing that throughout this series a lot. Comet Studio, Steve. Yeah, we are, but... 
that's the Japanese release schedule. Anime in the 90s isn't like anime today where something comes out in Japan and we can just pop on Crunchyroll a day or two later and it's already there. The subbed version's already there for us. The English dub by Central Park Media wouldn't be out until 1997. Jesus Christ. Which, for those playing along at home on Wikipedia, would be a year after the third game came out. <laughs> which is actually a good game. Not, <laughs> not not like this first one. This sort of thing, I need to emphasize again that this sort of thing happened all the time it's when these studios were more like scavengers of content more than people trying to be on top of things. But I don't think this is going to bode well for a lot of our projects to for this month. No, it doesn't bode well at all. Honestly, it's just, just kind of what it was back then. When's the last time we got really late releases in anything? Was it like, I remember in like 2005, Namco got bored on Game Boy Advance. So they started bringing out like Mr. Jeweler 2 and like Klonoa and like Tales of Fantasia, like games that came out like in 2001 and stuff in Japan for Game Boy Advance. Then we started getting them all all of a sudden. Mm. You remember that? That was yeah. weird. <laughs> it was like, uh, yeah, but sometimes we had to wait back then, kids. Uh Okay, so the game itself, do we do we actually like Art of Fighting? Because I would never say that original Art of Fighting game was good, but it was certainly very interesting. It leveraged the Neo Geo hardware very well, like the scaling in and out. Probably that's made more famous by Samurai Showdown, but like in Art of Fighting, it was like very dramatic, you know, and the sprites were like huge and its focus on story. Like I hadn't seen that in a fighting game before especially at the arcade, Steve. So like for me, it was very interesting as like a kid, but it controls like fucking ass. <laughs> okay. So remember that we're talking about a fighting game. So the story was really just Rio is missing his sister and is going to South city. Robert is going. South, north. Did you, did you just call South town, South city? Yes, Did that just happen? <laughs> yes, I'm too much eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is going with Rio to South Town. <laughs> Will they find Robert's sister? <laughs> Rio's sister before it's too late? <laughs> what, has, what just happened to you? I'm what having a world? stroke, all right? Christmas is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. Just don't buy anybody anything. Uh, I wish. <laughs> but to but let's be real art of fighting it tried some things but it is hard to play today literally it's hard to play my thumb hurt from the attempt of playing art of fighting again but, I, I did like i i could do a hoken maybe sometimes but like anything else good fucking luck i could throw a fireball pretty consistently after that fuck you <laughs> <laughs> i mean like <laughs> now what's great is Art of Fighting 3, which I brought up already, I uh, which I also bought to make sure it was still as great as I remember it from back then. The sprites, the backgrounds, the moves that actually do the things they do when you, you put them in. Everyone needs to go drop eight bucks on Art of Fighting 3 right now. Art of Fighting 1, not so much. <laughs> yeah, Art of Fighting 3 is fantastic. I don't remember jack shit about Art of Fighting 2, actually. I'm not even sure that I've ever played it. I haven't either, and I'm not about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to now. Um, okay, should we just talk about what happens in this anime? Just like Steve detailed about South City, I mean South Town, Rio's sister, Yuri, gets kidnapped, and him and his sparring partner slash best friend slash friends with benefits, Robert Garcia, go to find what? Don't make that face at me. You know, You know they've come on. Look, all I know is, is that they don't even really, they, they, tr they pretend to try and play it out because one minute in, we see a cat's butt and there is no cat butthole and it, <laughs> it's real close. And I don't know whether it's better to have one there or not. It's like, they didn't know what to, it's like fighting games are relatively new, so they didn't know what to do with it. How, how do we, how do we open this, this thing about it, this anime we're making about a video game? I don't give a cat's ass. Just make it happen. And that's what happened. They gave us a cat ass. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was weird. They did. It was a well animated cat though. You have a theory though, about Rio and Robert's voice actor. 
it, it's completely wrong, but they both sound, you might remember our bubblegum crisis episode where we had the, uh, you know, suave Leon popping in to help the girls. It sounded just like Leon was like throwing their voices, his voice pitched slightly different to be the two uh, guys, Rio and Robert. I got to go find this cat. Well, I don't need to go find anything because I'm Robert, head of the Garcia Corporation. Oh, is that a fact? Well, I really need to go find this cat's butthole right now. (laughs) If you say so. (laughs) They were yelling this exposition at each other. Rio was on like a scaffolding on the third story of apartment building, like prowling after this cat while Robert follows along in his Corvette or Ferrari or whatever the fuck. And like is yelling at him at the, Rio on the rooftop while chasing his cat. So they're just yelling this stuff. Hey, R- Rio's on the rooftop. Hey, Robert head of the Garcia corporations or heir, <laughs> heir to the Garcia. Uh, I'm chasing a cat right now. Hello, Rio, my sparring partner up there chasing a cat. Howard, did you get in this position? You don't have enough money for rent, do you? And it's just like, man, um, I would say the best character in this anime is Southtown. Right? Like the actual city. I think that's actually the best thing about this anime. You get the city very well. And that was something games back then really did. Like Final Fight really depicted Metro City well or like, you know, stuff like that. It's It wasn't like Street Fighter 2 where you're globe hopping, you know, you're mm. just really in this one city. And that really grounds it in a way that makes that game good. If you want, if you were to ever consider the original art of fighting good, that would be the reason why. And this anime has that, Steve. I know I said it before. I probably said it during the aforementioned bubblegum crisis. There's there's something about animation from like, let's say, 87 ish to like 93, 94, 95, where like it's just it's before all the technology. But we had decades of like animation know how at this point. And it was before computers and computer and colors and digital coloring and stuff like that. So it was all done the old way. And Art of Fighting is one of those. It's not just the early 90s aesthetic, of which it has plenty of. Like, look at those fucking pastels, right? But again, I'm sure you agree with me. Art of Fighting definitely fits in that pocket of creative, uh, of animation, rather. Oh, it's a very distinct pocket. That's the way to phrase it. I find it interesting you bring up technology, though. There's not a lot of it here, but... You find it weird that King was just able to run a background check on everybody <laughs> in like that seconds. Was, that was weird. First of all, I forgot she worked for Mr. Big. Secondly, yeah, she's just like typing in this computer while like English profiles of these guys come up in like, but it was they were using like the early 80s computer font that felt dated even by that time. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I get finding Robert Garcia, future head of the Garcia Corporation, that easily. Okay, fine. <laughs> that that that's in your supercomputer. But then there, she's also pulling out Rio and Yuri, and Yuri's like, college, nineteen years old. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. And they have like likes and dislikes and stuff, like long walks on the beach. And spiders. dislikes being kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> dislikes being kidnapped by Mr. Big. Yeah, like <laughs> we got her now, boys. <laughs> Inter- interesting note about Yuri. I don't know if you know the J pop artist Ayumi Hamazaki. She's really big in the 2000s, like probably the biggest like solo female artist. She voiced Yuri in the in the Japanese version of this anime. And this is like 93. So this is like several years before she got popular. And so she must have been a teenager then because she started pre- like when she started doing music in the late 90s, she was like still pretty young. But that must have been the role she was able to play because you know who they slapped into that role here? Uh, do tell. <laughs> Veronica Taylor. Now, I know all my uh, poke pals at home have have their ears twinging at tingling at that. So I'll, I'm just going to say, yes, she's got her. uh early may voice on and don't worry andre everyone that will know what that means knows exactly what that means you don't need more details than that and another pokemon alumni we have here we have eric stewart on as jack and john he was jack oh my god (laughs) and unlike his time as uh 
Brock on Pokemon, I feel like he was a bit more confused by the assignments here. And I feel like I would be too if I was playing a heavy guy and a helicopter pilot and a martial arts thing where only some martial arts happened. <laughs> they they happened. I don't know if they were art of fighting martial arts, but they happened. But Yuri, Yuri's, I, I don't know who this lady is, but like, remember that scene with Mr. Big? She's like, just wait and see. My brother <laughs> will get you. Rio, help me <laughs> to nobody. It's like uh, I, I think everybody. It, it's that thing we keep circling around again. Everyone must have just got the scripts that day, and then like, okay, we have exactly enough real for one read. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's voice was stupid. It also made me laugh after, by the way, Rio and Robert, I get it. It's South Town. It's a tough city, blah, blah, blah. But like they seem totally unfazed about that guy getting capped right in front of them. And then they flew the coop. And then Jack was like, ah, you stupid bonehead. I thought I told you not to kill him. And he was just like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the background, you just hear a very meek, Sorry. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is this? It is so stupid, but it's just like, oh well, this guy got killed. Let's go home to my apartment where I'm about to lose power because I can't pay the rent because I didn't catch the cat's butthole. Well, maybe if he was a uh, future head of the Garcia Corporation, he could fucking afford something. Yeah, dude. Like, Robert's like your best. Like, how about, hey, Robert, you have a billion dollars. How about you help me pay the electric bill this month? I'll get you back later. I mean, why can't that be a thing? I mean, maybe it was, but they it's it's weird how the bad guys just follow them right back to the apartment right after the evade the cat the first time yeah it's weird but like and then that happens like when they're fighting the fight in the apartment by the way before i start talking about that fight in the apartment briefly every time any fight broke out incredible music starts playing in fucking credible don't you sit across from me like you usually do and say i don't pay attention yes you did you noticed I had to notice because holy, did you watch, actually watch the show? If it wasn't for the music, we'd have nothing to grasp onto. <laughs> I mean, it was like this incredible jazz rock fusion. You, you actually hear in later in King of Fighters, which didn't exist at the time, but that's the kind of music those, especially those early games went for, but in full swing here, uncompressed from the Neo Geo hardware, of course. The credits do say that the music was done by SNK Sound Team, so they got the video game guys to, to do this. That was a super smart call on their part. Genuinely, some of the best music I've ever heard in this period of like home video anime, or in this case, made for TV. But like, honestly, Steve, just chef's kiss. Excellent music. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to appear here, but I, I almost felt like they were going to drop in the uh, theme of Billy and Jilly, Jilly, theme of Billy and Jimmy from the <laughs> Double Dragon arcade game. <laughs> that's not a very good game either, but that's a kick ass song. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> I, li I like Billy and Jilly better, by the way. I, that's a better. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, in that apartment, do you like how like they all bust in there? They all have their guns pointed at Robert and like Robert just like future heir of the Rob of the Garcia. Of, sorry, of the Garcia <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Robert Garcia, future heir to their Garcia Foundation. <laughs> had their all, all had their guns pointed at him and then. Robert just runs up to them and starts knocking them their guns out of their hands while they're like freeze framed. He's moving and it's like they could have shot him 14 times while he did that. But no, the the the, the anime needs to happen. So I don't think they really knew what to do. I mean, he, he's dressed in the uh, tacky suit and Rio kicks off his sandals fairly early. Like that's one of the few in-game things we actually see happen. The sandals are off in like the first few minutes. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, do you want to talk about it now? Speaking of video games, things that didn't happen. One of the core tenets of any fighting game anime is that you got to do the moves from the game. That's almost I don't want to say the entire point of the anime existing, but that's most of the reason why you're watching. You want to see Guile do a sonic boom. If you want to see Ken and Ryu do Hadoukens and Shoryukens and etc. That's most of the fun of the fights art of fighting did not a single fucking thing from the game 
Not a thing. Now, look, I understand the first Art of Fighting doesn't have the most special moves out there, being it's a fairly rudimentary game, you know, et cetera. Fine. But what I, I didn't expect them to go as far as have like, you know, Rio destroy King's blouse with a with a ho Ken like you can in the game or something. They didn't have to play it that close to the chest. Ha ha. But like they could have at least finished off Mr. Big with one or like one of their crappy hurricane kicks or a dragon punch or something, man. They didn't do a single thing, Steve. It's weird, too, because Jack is oddly agile in the game, and I f- and they th- this translates to the show too, show <laughs> the, the, the the OVA too, where he, he he's doing jump kicks against Rio. I'm like, can we at least can, can, can you at least do that weird double kick thing that's beating my ass half the time? I'm like, no, can't be bothered. J- Jack was amazing. The best part of this anime and the most hilarious part was like, you know, they're trashing Rio's apartment, they're fighting there, and Rio is just like saying to nobody in particular, oh man, they're trashing the place. Now I'm pissed. And then like Robert throws somebody out the window, which of course smashes Rio's window. And then he goes, no, I'm really pissed. And then him and <laughs> him and Jack jump kick each other at the same time. Yeah. And do like the anime, like pass through each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like what the hell happened now i'm really pissed it just caught me <laughs> off guard <laughs> i need to emphasize i i don't think we uh, established this point earlier I, I know they sound exactly the same but just pitch differently these are two different actors they found to be rio and robert <laughs> yeah, it's allegedly allegedly and, <laughs> and, that, and and this and, and and those were the reads they did <laughs> Anyway, I'm I'm trying to avoid plot stuff in this because it just doesn't matter. But like, Steve, do we even want to describe how they found the diamond that these bad guys are looking for? Because it's so fucking stupid. Like, do we even want to bother? Following a stupid sequence wherein Robert tries to flirt his way in through the crooked casino downtown and everyone sees the plan a mile ahead. Bring us the diamond. I don't have it. Yes, you do. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> they go home and they figure out, oh, if we don't have the diamond, we'll never figure it out. And then in this 45 minute anime about a fighting game based off of a fighting game, we watch the two main characters watch Ice Melt. Before they suddenly remember, wait a minute, they kept it in an ice cube tray and it was just outside the apartment in the sewer gutter where no one found it in the intervening hours. Yeah, it was just sitting there the whole time in the middle of the goddamn street. It's like, okay. What was the name of that stupid jewel? Not that it matters. Oh, the 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 eye of Sirius. Yeah, Sirius. Almost said Sardonis, which is not anything. I don't know what a Sardonis is. Eye of Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Eye of Sirius. How the hell are like Rio and Robert so intrepid anyway? Like they're holding Yuri at a casino. I assume Mr. Big owns a casino because haha, gambling bad. Um, and Rio is just like rappelling down the side of this casino with a rope. I don't even know what the rope is tied to, d- tied to God knows what, but he's doing this. And like zip it along the side of the building like goddamn Spider-Man. It's like, how do they like, I'm sure that's not part of their training. Well, he's the one that actually has training. I don't know. He, based on Garcia's frequent boasting, I, how does he even know how to fight? I I don't know. They don't. I mean, not that they I, I hate training montages. I'm not saying they needed to show us that. But like, could they at least? I don't know. A little bit more like actual martial arting, I guess. A little more art of the fighting. We we don't get the art of the fighting in the game. We don't get art of the fighting in general. I think we get definitely more art of the fighting in the game. Also, like Robert is exceptionally horny <laughs> in this in this anime. I get it. It was the nineties. Every like. A male character had a case of the not gaze, but like he's just like when they bust in the apartment, look for the cat, and then like he's just flipping through magazines. And, he, and she, and I guess he's looking at a bodybuilding magazine. He's like, Hey, nice body. She looks like a man, though. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah which is like okay maybe we shouldn't say that in the year 2023 obviously it's 20 30 years ago but like you know besides that like he's just like scoping out remember king was standing next to the ferrari and he's like and he's like oh check out the babe out there hey honey how about my number later yada yada it's like yo man chill i get it <laughs> well even in the opening she's he's trying to pick up yuri too like can you put in a good word for me with your she is 19 <laughs> <laughs> look we don't know how old robert garcia is at the same fucking time dude like you're gonna be asking rio her, her brother I, I don't know it's fucking weird at man. the same time they probably changed that number in the <laughs> in the dub because they might have even been skeeved up <laughs> yeah yeah um some more voice acting stuff uh Toto, the in the game Art of Fighting, Toto is like some sort of martial arts master wearing, I don't know if they're Hakama pants. I, I forget what kind of pants they are, but like some sort of traditional Japanese garb, you know, and he was this very serious guy. Toto in this anime is like a bumbling detective with like the loud cartoon. He was so cartoonish. He was practically Yosemite Sam. Steve like he it was so over the top and he wasn't wearing that stuff he was wearing like a detective you know like the suspenders and all that shit I didn't pick up on any of that right away but until the end where he has the uh I guess you call it the chest pad that he has in the uh in the dojo in the, in his level he has yeah. that in the in the uh end helicopter chase sequence but in our dub he's played by James Cothcart and even if you don't know the name, you'll know him because he made the definitely made the rounds and a lot of anime around this time and for much longer for having this absolute, as Andre put it, cartoony rasp of a voice. I'm going to be in all the animes just by doing this. And I don't care if I sound like a maniac or not. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly him. I just was not expecting Toto, Toto to become that. This is so weird. Give me those residual checks. <laughs> he's he's doing interviews on TV about the diamond. We're going to find that goddamn thing. No matter what we do. It was just like it was so over the top. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three days. He kept screaming three days. Um, I, I alluded to this earlier, but they don't do the they don't hide King's gender. They don't do the king is actually a woman thing in this anime, which I guess maybe because everyone knows at this point, anyone who's played Order of Fighting, that's kind of the secrets out. In okay, but, but in 1993, just a year. I mean, the game had been out for a significant amount of time. That's enough for people to know that. I don't, look, I feel like if you're gonna make your fighting game anime, at least do that. Do do. The thing that makes it stand out from the other fighting game anime. It, this just goes back to what we were talking about before. Do the things that art of fighting does. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they should have obviously done that. But, you know, at least they didn't go literally to a bar and fight Jack or something, which I fully expected them to do. <laughs> but full disclosure, the uh, thumbnail that we found on YouTube is just. Jack's fat fucking face looking up in disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> and I honestly thought that was going to be in the bar. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure that was going to be there where he'd have to break a pull cue over his head. And he goes, ha ha ha, you can't hurt me with that wimpy thing. And then he picks up Rio and chokes him or something like that. And then Robert would do his like hurricane kick to his back and be like, what you little gnat? See, I'm making up an entire anime where they just use moves from the game. See, I already did it better. See, I have a theory that might be off base, Andre. Why? What if they didn't have art of fighting in mind? What if they were they were already making work on, uh, say, something like Double Dragon or Final Fight? Because there's a lot of fucking jump kicks. I think, I, I think uh, you know that, that that's very Double Dragony. I am. <laughs> Are you saying someone wrote this script with a different game in mind and they turned it into art of fighting? I, I think a lot. I think certain animation and whatever else might have been in place for certain characters. I'm like, I don't. A lot of this doesn't feel like art of fighting, and that might be why. <laughs> the only reason why I would say that 
that's not the case. And it's what I said earlier, the city of Southtown is so spot on. And that's such a characteristic city. I don't think you can just halfway animate this and change some characters and stuff. Well, I'll put it this way. When Rio was on the rooftop there, I wasn't even sure that was Rio at first. Didn't really look like him. I understand he looks different in like King of Fighters games, but like, I don't know. Compare a sprite to that guy. Doesn't really like Robert looks spot on, right? But not necessarily Rio. I mean, that's what I'm saying. What, what, what's stopping Rio from having been Billy once? I don't. I don't buy it just because Southtown. That's that's basically it. But I guess Home we of can the just Lingerasta store or whatever that the heck that was in the oh, opening. Oh, what did that sign say? This 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 movie, this movie, this anime had some very classic random English signs that don't make sense in an anime, and that was that was one. Of, see, I thought it was like a linguini. I was thinking it was a linguini bar. Just order your linguine and clams, pick your wine of choice, and have a ball. I mean, I mean that made sense after you said it, but I thought it might have just been something you go for, go for your, uh, you know, your uh, tastefully erotic photography. You know, for when you want to impress Ooh. your wife for your anniversary. Ooh, nice. Do people still do that? Do we just take shitty pics on the phone? I, I think that just became shitty selfies, unfortunately. Yeah, we we used to we used to class up our self porn, man. Come on. Mm. Remember that would be a thing sometimes on a sitcom. Ooh, I'm gonna get this for uh, my husband's birthday. This uh, little pictorial. It's like a book, and you know it gets mm. to the wrong or gets to the wrong person, and then like yeah, <laughs> the wrong person picks it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, what happened to that industry, man? Anyway, I I, I guess uh, nothing really else to say about the happenings in anime. They knock out Mister Big into a pool, knocked out cold. Another diamond falls out of his other eye, or something. Or was he keeping the diamond in his eye? What happened there? Okay, thank you. Because I was very confused with this too. Because he needed the diamond because he's a bad guy. He needs diamonds. And then he keeps kidnapping Yuri anyway. And they chase him on a helicopter. And oh, if only we could throw some kind of fireball at the helicopter. We might be able to stop it. But <laughs> since since this, is a, this isn't a fighting game anime, I guess we don't know how to do that. <laughs> And I don't know if he like jammed it in there in between scenes in his eye socket or if he already had like an eye of Sardanus in his other eyeball and he needed its sister, the eye of Sirius, to yeah, complete the set. It doesn't matter. It's only it's not that long. <laughs> and also, like, OK, they knocked him into the pool. He was out cold. And then the helicopter in the pool exploded with a missile on it. <laughs> He should be fucking dead. But no, they just arrest him at the end. Like, no big deal. Like, I'll get you. You know, you can't keep me in jail, coppers. And Toto's like, just wait, Mr. Big. You're going to be in there forever and shit. And it's just like, you should be dead, man. And then Robert goes over. He's like, he's going to get out soon, though. Hey, he's got a lot of connections. <laughs> <laughs> Toto was excellent. You know what? OK, it almost feels weird to talk about whether or not this was good because it wasn't good right the art of fighting ova was not good but it almost doesn't matter like weirdly enough though art of fighting the ova parallels art of fighting the game no it's not good but it's fascinating and it's charming in a way right and maybe look sometimes that's all you need maybe if you're a huge art of fighting geek this would get you off Personally, I did enjoy many aspects of this, but I could never generally recommend this anime to anybody except complete fighting game nerds or lovers of that early 90s aesthetic, like in particular. Otherwise, like, I don't know, for me, this was fine, but I would never say that it's good. You know, I, I'm with Andre here. No, it's not good. And I spent a lot of this time here complaining about it, but Really, it's a lot of just it's a lot of harmless noise that's fun to watch. You get done with Christmas decorating or something, and you you don't want to watch a Charlie Brown Christmas for some reason. You want you want to watch something else. Maybe you find that thumbnail with Jack Jack's fat fucking face on it, and you turn that on for forty five <laughs> minutes. Yeah, you, you, you put on some popcorn, and you find the and you find the beer, and you watch that for a night. That 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 that's. I've I've spent my time on worse. <laughs> I wonder if they in Japanese if they gave Jack that 
American Japanese guy voice. You know, like like Barry yeah. from Tokyo Mirage <laughs> Sessions, like that kind of voice. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They probably gave him that. <laughs> um, or I don't know if you ever heard Rodan from Bayonetta in Japanese. Maybe like no. that. Yeah, maybe maybe kind of like that. Um, anyway, yeah, that's Artifighting the OVA. We'll continue next week and throughout this whole month with more fighting game OVAs. What should we call this? Fighting game OV what like uh roundabout fighting ova roundabout we got to come up with a snappy uh, subtitle for these we'll figure it out uh i i, I would say fighting game theater but uh, matt mcmuscles already does that and i don't want to get sued so we get we got to call it something else he's got more high price lawyers than we do <laughs> yeah so let's let's not do that but anyway we'll figure it out uh goodbye everybody till next time